Alright, after that small break during transitions and editing, welcome back to Let's Play Star Fox. Right in the last episode, we started off level 2 by going through Corneria, Sector S, and Titania. And in this episode, we'll finish off level 2 by going to Sector Y and then take our fight to Venom. Now, you might be pretty wondering of how Sector Y would be like. I hated Sector Y back then, just because of one part. <laughs> You'll see why right now. Sector Y. How are the R wings handling? If an amoeba clings to your ship, use L or R to get rid of it. It said amoeba. You probably are wondering what this level will be. <laughs> oh god. Now, another gimmick for this level is that it has wildlife of some sort. So you see these red, you see all these blue creatures. Red ones are coming up. Red ones are en enraged. Uh, no. uh, well, let's say mind control. You want to get them blue. Getting them blue puts them back to friendly. That also adds points to your score. So, get, so getting them back to friendly instead of enraged saves them and gives you point bonus. Mind you, mind you, uh, you, can e you can easily lose a ton of percentage if you don't save them. Oh god, here they are. Amoebas! Now, these amoebas will try to cling on to you. They see, see them move so fast? Yeah, I hated them when I was a kid. I still do, but I can get them real fast. When I was trying to get the... Here's the funny thing. Um, back then, when I was a kid, and when I was doing level 2 and such... Oh, I had to explain that. I have to explain that. Uh, first, when I was a kid, back uh, back in level 2, I couldn't get that off for some reason. I kept pressing that one R like it was no tomorrow. Oh my god, did I rage. <laughs> Alright, two things that happened. The stingrays. Do not shoot them. They are friendly. If you shoot them, they'll become red and they will attack you and they do mass amounts of damage. Do not attack them. Uh, now, you also saw uh, Slippy saving me. Now, there are waves of enemies that sometimes, when they come in on you very closely, and they come too close, they try. Your friends, they're right behind you, of course. They're always right behind you. Oh, crap! Ow! That's what happens if you hit a stink tree. Uh. So, do not hit a stingray for the love of God. Oh, and here's another thing. If you were able to save all those tiny little fish, we'll say, in this space, this giant wheel will come up, and he will be so generous. See all these upgrades? Yeah. You needed these upgrades because we're going on to a boss that actually trolls people. <laughs> Tentacles! Oh, I see enough hands where this is going. <laughs> Main give me this boss. His armor is his armor is cannot be pierced. Peppy gives you a hint, which is actually useful. But he shoots out stuff from his arms. You can only shoot stuff back in his arms where there's nothing coming back thing about this, the hitboxes are a bit wonky. So you think you're hitting inside, but sometimes you're not. Like right now, see? If you shoot too much, if you shoot too much into the arm, it will break. You want to shoot, it will regenerate, that way you can get a lot of stuff. But if it's shooting something, when you're shooting something back inside it, it will destroy the arm. 
just keep shooting the arm until both arms break and it only has a mouth. That means the armor is that means it's super armor or barrier or hidden barrier is pierced and it will just go around crazy. Also, get out of the way when it's charging at you because that is a desperation attack before it dies. And if you get hit by that, you have to start the fight and have to level over. And that's troll. But now I have my overshield. Which I really want to keep. <laughs> and we save the creatures. Yay. We're awesome. I'm still say I was sad for Sector X at 97, even though I didn't state it back in the other part. Seriously, I always get a good 100%, but sometimes the enemies are just so bullcrap. Even though it is level 2, sometimes you really... Sector X is actually quite hard to 100% if you don't... If you, if you aren't that fast. I am fast, but sometimes it's... Blah. But enough of the ranting. Let's take the fight to Venom, shall we? Venom, the final goal. Is everyone alright, Fox? You're on course to sneak into Venom's back door. Oh yeah, the back door. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna get to that eventually. But right now, hell! <laughs> yeah. Level 2 is not what you think, but it is enemy heavy. There's gonna be more waves of enemies than you think. More than what level 1 showed us. Also, it has a new. it'll put into new types of enemies. Well, I don't think enemies, but blockades of some sort. Flying blockade. Here we are. These things. You do not want to get them close to you or else they will explode into, bi into uh, big pieces like that. Like that. Not in addition to these enemies that you have to kill, but those things as well. You kill one as a whole, you actually get good score. You kill one as a bunch, uh, you get less score. So it's best to kill them before they um, expand, we'll say. You can use a bomb on these, but you might want to keep bombs for a later date. And right there, the Twin Blaster is actually hard. You want to kill... You saw all the, you saw, you saw all the ships coming after us. You want to kill all of them to get the Twin Blaster upgrade. Yeah, some of the upgrades, uh, you need to kill or traverse through stuff to get them. I want to use a bomb. Yeah. I, I almost lost anyone that, that wanted to use a bomb. I, I always like the fights in Venom airspace as a like, we're shoot giving you everything we got in order to save our world in the name of Andros. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, eh, one ship against an entire army. Come on. Well, one of them mercenary group it gets in the time oh did you see that that's supposed to be a little um easter egg right there if you kill a uh, it, it happens only in venom airspace only if you kill a ship a ship that uh crap that's supposed to have the overshield no recharge if you kill a ship like right there right there its pilot will come out with its seat into space that's supposed to be an easter egg, uh, but I can't remember the reference. I always like that easter egg. It's always nice. Very nice easter egg. Now we come for most hatred boss. These. These guys. Focus your, focus your attacks on one of them. Always do that. Oh shit. Crap, 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 crap. Ugh. It's a good thing I have the overshield. You saw there and how the overshield was intact and such. 
when you get close enough, fire your retros. You do not want to get crushed, because you get hit three times during the crushing, and that's bad. Also, you want to dash like right now before those hit you. And if the enemy get bar gets one fourth like right now, one of them gets destroyed and the other sends something down. Because in the logs, these are by these guys share a chain link health. And if one of them is destroyed, the other can't the other can't um, work. So then as a last resort, he sends a ship down there onto the surface. We'll be seeing that ship later on. But right now, let's get introduced to one of my most, one of my really favorite level mine, the door. I just love this place to death. Oh, crap. <laughs> Despite my fail right there, I love this place to death. Ugh. Every time I go to level 2, I'm o I always love this. I and the music is awesome. The Venom Police Force will say, the Ven Police Defense Force is trying their best to run into me. Some of them are bad drivers. We'll find out why. I mean, I just love this place. It's awesome. In the back door of Venom, it's 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 always a great time. Ow! Stupid game. <laughs> and now uh, here's where some of the fighters I said they were bad drivers. One of them gets run into a wall. A few of them like right right here. Gets run into a wall. <laughs> Gave them their license. Yeah, I just love this place so much. I don't, I don't know how many times I have to say this. I love this level. Oh god. I missed all oh, those bikers. They're such a pain. They tried to run into you. And, and, there, and there's supposed to be a reference to a, a game, I heard. But their um, pilot sprite is just weird. Some of them right behind you, hit them, and that's it. They are, um, you have to kill them before moving on. Look at that. Did you see the sprite right there? Where's that supposed to be a reference to? Whatever. Now, here comes to another boss I hate. This thing. It will shoot two, two bikers at you. Easy. No, you want to focus your attacks on the main hall. And also, it wants... It wants to run into you. So like 30 seconds or so, it tries to run into you. But I am trying to manipulate the... Well, I'm trying to manipulate its AI or whatever, its, CP, uh, its comp the computer, to try to not hit me. It is hard because the hitbox actually extends. But enough of that. It's dead. <coughs> and now, we got a little... Anticlimactic scene or something. Back door of the poor. <laughs> yeah. And then boost to win. Indeed, Andros. We're still better than you. Despite your traps. However, you will not escape here alive! Alive, huh? Well, let's meet Andros version 2, shall we? Hi, Andros. I'm gonna get you for a beatdown. 
Andros plays exactly the same as what he did in level 1. <laughs> Tries to suck you up. Shoots blocks at you, which is apparently telekinesis. Frame rate goes to crap when it tries to get into you. What I forgot to say in the first part is that the sucky, when he tries to suck you up, for some reason, every time I play, he doesn't suck me up. I don't know where. Why am I doing so bad? Uh, I don't know where time does he not suck. Does he suck me up? Because. In Star Fox 64, he has enough suction to suck you up. And I don't know a place where he does, but... Oh my god, I wish I had level 1. But this is where I said the level 1 laser would come in handy. Because it focuses on the eye, and the Twin Blasters... And the Twin Blaster level 2 is so big. It gets into the hitboxes of the of the bot of these things, and it's so awkward. Now, those spikes on the, on him—that's his that's his health spikes. You want to kill him so badly until he's almost dead, but he always lives. There are two parts to him, and he could regain his form. It, the, the first eye is always easy to take down after this. I don't know for what one reason. He tries to suck you in, but he never sucks me in. I even, I even one time tried to let him suck me in. It, he never does. He never sucks me. Andros never sucks me in. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but. If he's trying to suck you in and cause massive damage to you, like he did in um, the uh, the uh, remake, I just don't know why. But enough of that. Andros is dead. Level two is complete, and we'll just make our escape. That's level 2 for you folks. Sadly, there's no 100% for level 2, but it will be a 97 or 95. Like I said, this let's play is a 95 to 100% all. So if I have a 97 here, I just have to keep I just have to keep the streak going. Meaning that I must score a 95 or higher on level 3. And level 3 is a douche. I've been training on level 3 so much. The last three levels are a pain. Don't get me wrong, they are. It's just 300 away. Ah, uh, 99. Okay, so yes, I have to score 95 or higher to keep it. Unless my memory serves. This is Corneria, Pepper speaking. Congratulations on a job well done. Roger, I'm heading back to Corneria. I never know of that. <laughs> That's my memory serves, and unless I get at least like 90 or something, I can still get the the challenge. Doesn't matter really.
And this is just, well, showcasing the bosses. I have nothing else to say. Other than this douche. Ruin my child, you idiot. Professor Hainer. Weapon Shadow Thruster, aka those things he launches at you. Ugh. Plasma Hydra with the Plasma Spewer. He's probably everybody's troll, but there is only one troll in existence in Star Fox, people. Not these guys. No. There's only one troll in existence. Boy, does he troll in level 3. I hate him so much. Look at those sprites of those... of those bikers. If you did see them, it's just that... Ugh, it's a reference to something I know. I just can't quite put my finger on it. But, that's the end of level 2. Uh, next time, I will see you on level 3 of Star Fox. See you guys then.